Generally, lithium-ion batteries are composed of a lithium cobalt oxide cathode, graphite anode, and lithium salt with organic solvent as an electrolyte. They are similar to lead-acid batteries with the use of separator. They have high energy density in comparison to other batteries. At anode there is oxidation takes place and at the cathode, there is reduction takes place. When the battery is charging up, the lithium cobalt oxide, a positive electrode gives up some of its lithium ions, which move through the electrolyte to the negative graphite electrode, and remain there. The battery stores energy during this process, and when the battery is discharging, the lithium ions move back across the electrolyte to the positive electrode, producing the energy that powers the battery. In both cases, charging and discharging, the electrons flow in the opposite direction to the ions around the outer circuit as shown in the figure. Electrons do not flow through an electrolyte, and the movement of ions and electrons are interconnected processes. If either stops so do the other. If we cut off the external power while charging then the mobility of ions also stops. If ions stop moving through the electrolyte because the battery completely discharges, electrons can't move through the outer circuit. Similarly, if we switch off whatever the battery is powering, the flow of electrons stops and so does the flow of ions. The battery essentially stops discharging at a high rate but it does keep on discharging, at a very slow rate even with the appliance disconnected. This is the mechanism of how lithium-ion batteries works. Lithium-ion batteries have both advantages as well as drawbacks. Advantages of lithium-ion batteries are They have a high energy density. They are rechargeable. No memory effect that means no need to discharge them completely before recharge. Low self-discharge. Lightweight available in all shapes and sizes and drawbacks of lithium-ion batteries are they are inflammable last only two to three years after manufacture if the separator gets damaged it can burn into flames and relatively expensive applications of lithium-ion batteries are they are used in motorized equipment they are used in electric mobility they are used in power backups UPS they are used in energy storage systems. They are used in electric and electronic devices. They are used in power tools to electric vehicles. They are used in the smartphone, laptops, etc. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye. Bye. See you.